Hey y'all. Um, so I started setting up my planner yesterday. I still have to go through and get everything cleaned out. There is lots that I gotta get cleaned out and um uh some things I have to get printed out. I done some of the printing yesterday. Uh already this morning I woke up and there's one thing that I know that I'm going to change back to the way I probably was planning before. These are bills and uh, notices, tax information, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to actually clean those out. I haven't cleaned out or went through it yet, though. So I was keeping it in here for the moment. Um, let me put it up under here. I'm trying to think of a place to put it where I can... Uh, won't forget it and put it back in there until I'm through. I'm going to go through and I'm going to actually clean out all of my pockets. Make sure there's nothing in there that I don't need. This is from my mom. Um, it's a little envelope. Um, so I'm going to go through all of the pockets. The back, uh, the big back pocket is... Oh, this one doesn't have a big back pocket. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, but... Uh, all of my side pockets, my pockets here in the back, I'm going to go through, clean those out, and what you call it. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm just going to give you all a flip through of what I have right now uh, for 2023. And then I'll tell you all when I get to that section, what I am going to do as far as uh, going back to what I was using previously. Right here in the very front, I just have a ruler that I use, uh, a straight edge. I don't use the today portion of it, really. Um, and then I have um, my legend for my bills. Some of these things don't uh, actually uh, correlate anymore. Um, so... I am going to redo this with what they with the with the colors correlate with now um, on the back. These are all my auto deductions that uh, come out, um, and some of these actually don't correlate anymore either. So I will do that. This right here is a dollar sign. I put this on the calendar. Oh, that's what I want to do anyway. I didn't do it any last year. Last year I had a calendar and I just marked it on there. But I want to put the dates that I actually had a sale on there. Um, and I actually like what I done last year as far as the calendar, marking it off on the calendar. So I'm probably not going to use this anymore. So this will be done over. Um, this is like a bullet journaling. Um symbols signs some of them are exactly what um carol Ryder uses and some of them are the ones that I, either i see seen someone create or i use them myself uh created them myself to use as part of i don't bullet journal but some of the symbols that i use in my planner um are bullet journaling symbols so yeah this means canceled and i actually bought some little stickers last year did well yeah last year 2022 from i think it's planner monkey co um where i can use those but that's what uh canceled is um that's a follow-up symbol see and i, I name them what i make sense to me um and here I had canceled with the line going through it. And then if it was an event, but it wasn't canceled, I just did not attend. It's an X that gets marked to mark through it. Um, this is for it to the next week, day or month. And then this is uh, not completed migrate back to my week list or my monthly, wherever I had it at. Um, I don't mark it off of my week list or monthly until... I have completed the task then i'll mark it off there and, and on my daily or where it is that i'm working on it at um so that question mark is research and fact finding um canceled 
delete or irrelevant not doing so all of that means that okay but anyway this is it you all for that then on this one is my zones and uh that's because i have my zones um in i think it's in my reference i don't think it's here but this is just a quick reference of which ones are my zones and i have lots of zones because i like to break stuff out into chunks i hate cleaning and i feel like cleaning is punishing me <laughs> uh i work every single day of the week except for saturdays and sundays and i am at current uh in a very stressful job and when I get off, I don't want to think about cleaning. Um, and I'm drained all the time. So I feel like um, I'm being punished when I have to clean after I get off work. So I, that's why I have lots of zones because I can break them up. So these are zones and then I'll break them up into quadrants. So in the family room right now, I'm going to just say um, clean out. I don't know, the hard surfaces and, and dust them. And then the next time I'm going to wash all the pillow, the pillow covers or something like that. So I break it out into quadrants so that I will not feel like I am, um, have so much to do. I focus on one little portion of that zone and then I feel like I got something accomplished and it helps me. Um, and that's probably something that I will do is add, uh, what each quadrant is. That'll be, yeah, that'll actually be good for me. Uh, this is just a little thing from, um, I think it was one of me and my big ideas, a habit planner, uh, half sheet thingy. And I just actually, um, cut it and, and tabbed it in here. Um, one thing, this is stuff that needs to be cleaned out. Some sticky notes are back there. Um, I'll come back to that one thing later that I just said, y'all. Uh, these are stickers here. Um, not by far any, it's not, uh, I have a lot of stickers in this, in this book, but that's because I'm carrying it downstairs upstairs I want to have the ones that I know that I use all the time in here I have something downstairs that has some stickers that I can go and look if I want to find something particular potentially or uh, some decor stickers but as far as my functional ones that I use all the time I do try and keep some in the planner which that actually books up this planner quite a bit um that these are some sticker sheets and I just stuck them in here and there are actually some planner Kate stickers in here as well and those planner Kate stickers are the little samples so I can use them throughout the book uh, when needed uh, these are just notes oh this is something that I said I wanted to do so this is the beginning of the year so it's all it's a good thing to do one year we had a vision board party and when we had the vision board party, at the end of it, we had balloons that we kept when we got from our party city. And we wrote all of our fears or things we did not like about ourselves or wasn't accepting about ourselves. We wrote, the, wrote them on the balloon and then we released them. Um, so right here is write down your fears, worries, and struggles and watch it burn. And so we can do that around the fire pit. Um... This is some stuff about oh plan a purge challenge, Kanmari declutter list and master list. I guess the, I wanted to print that maybe. So yeah, um, just some picture of my boys, which I need to add some new ones in here. These are older. My son, when he graduated, this is my husband, me, and my son when we went to a party. That's a picture of me that I taken took at work when I started the job I'm in now. 
a little mini of my um, degree. Oh, well, one of my degrees. That's not my last degree. Um, then here, this is my table of contents. So when I'm planning out, this has been on here for years. I never took it off because these are things that I want to have in this first portion of the book, which is why it's about me. So all of these things, my mission statement, my vision board, my word of the year, my love letter to self table of contents, which I honestly have never done a table of contents. It's always been on a sticky note. What's in the section, um, uh, legend and coding keys, which we saw that. Um, so here I need to add a new vision board. This is my old one. And then I need to do the letter to myself. And these are my, this is my word of the year declutter will remain one. I don't know what, if I will have a second word or not. Um, Cause consistency kind of went with declutter. I need to stay consistent so that I could get as, as much accomplished as I can as far as decluttering. Also here will be my goals. Here's my resume, <clears throat> and which I need to update this one because this one is, I have updated one since. Um, also, see that's there in the wrong spot. My goals will be here as well. I did add, hold on. Okay, so it's nothing in here. Just some uh, stickers again. This is a little... Uh, Chic Sparrow, I laminated it and I use it to stick sticky notes and stuff on. Um, so that's what, what that is. Um, so my inbox needs to actually be moved to here and then the goals moved up. It's out of order. So this is my inbox for anything to capture that I might need to do. Uh, my master to-do list is in the back. But I am going to move it to the front. So that's one thing I'm going to do. And then this is my goals. I have not actually solidified my goals yet for 2023. I am here for the next few hours by myself. My husband is gone uh, to the country. And my son rode with him. And then my other son is away. So I'm going to sit and think about those. I have wrote down the areas in which I want to focus my goals on and kind of a little blurb, but I haven't wrote down the actual goals. So I do want to do that. This is 2022. This is 2021. And then this, I think, came from, oh no, it came from the planner spot. But these are goals, and I think she broke them down. This is a goal, what I'm doing daily, weekly, and monthly to accomplish the goal. I guess that's how it's supposed to work. But what I liked about it is that it wasn't too many goals. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that that's a good number. I try not to do, like this one is essentially my 2021 goals. I wrote it out, but this was a little note sheet, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And on this one, I have seven. So I try not to do over like eight goals. I feel like if I um, don't, if I do too many goals, I'm not going to accomplish them because it's going to overwhelm me. I get overwhelmed fast, y'all. <laughs> and these are some Rhodia, I think. Rodia and Claire Fontaine papers, I believe, is what this is. Um, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it feels good. But I do have a section in here where I have some Rodia and Claire Fontaine. Okay, this right here is that little sheet that I told y'all I cut and laminated it. And actually, I need to put that little tab in my personal and then, because I got it for this to do my priorities, but I want to do another one and punch on this side so that it can, and then the note can be on the back instead of this way. Um, but this is where I got it from. It's from here. 
and what I used these for last year, which I need to put some more in here because I actually really like that. Last year, I used these as like a half sheet in between and I put my top focus and then on the back, I put my challenge. So if I was no soda, no spending, something else, then I would mark off each day that I accomplished those things and I would carry it from week to week. So I actually would like to do that again. I really enjoyed it and I actually kept up with it pretty good through um, um, through the uh, months that I was doing it, which is like the first four months of the year. So I think I'm going to incorporate this back in. Uh, this this month, which I, I guess I need to put it in there now. Um, I made sure that I did not spend yesterday in case I wanted to do a no spend this month. I also made sure I did not have any soda. Uh, soda is my weakness. And um, then Amazon is my next. So, yeah. Um, this is a monthly overview sheet. Um, and that tells me what am I doing this month when I go over my when I get ready to set up my month uh, focus on my goals I need to set a date and night um, I don't know what oh free space I don't know I think that's what you call it what am I buying and then birthdays and anniversaries and then family friends time so this tells me what I am doing and this goes on my actual monthly page so that's what this is for here are my color coding. Uh, this was my husband's second part-time job. This was birthdays for family members. They got some type of sticker. Uh, if it was somebody that if I get to talk to them or text them or something like that, they were in blue for birthdays. This is paydays. This is bills. Um, this was... Um, this was when I was having my periods. This was uh, events. This is PTO. And then purple was personal. But I think I made the pink personal now is what um, I believe I done. And it's personal meaning, no, uh, pur purple was day date or date night. So that I know that we did do it at a glance. We did do something that month. When I look at my calendar. I don't have to flip through pages to, to see when. It's already on my on my um, monthly. And we try and do it once a month. Um, we hang out a lot together at home. And we hang out a lot. Like going to Home Depot and stuff like that. So we do have some quality time. But some romantic quality time uh we're saying once a month is what we'll do we do watch movies and stuff like that together so we have more than one thing but as far as us like actually making an effort to get up get dressed really nicely and go out to somewhere nice or to some type of event whether it be a, a concert or um a art gallery or out to dinner or something like that so we're trying to do one of those types of things monthly versus you know going to the park and stuff like that so yeah okay so this is my 2023 just calendar overview y'all had the hardest time print print calendars this year um but i got them done so this one doesn't have anything on it i think i'm going to put my work holidays on here so that I'll be able to capture those and know when we're off from work. This is my allspice. This is my uh, person, personal chef calendar. And all I'll do is just highlight the days that I have events here. And that's the, what I said. I think I'm going to keep that. And then this one is wonderfully made. And I'm going to write it here. I actually had them typed out and then I erased it because I had such a hard time and I forgot to put them back. So I'm just going to write out it wonderfully made and um this is my beauty product so i have uh, a couple of hair products and then uh, a couple of um uh, 
brow brow eyebrow all stuff like that that I use and um, I I sell those so and I'll just mark off my sales here like I did last year and it actually worked really well for me last year so I'm gonna keep that this is my PTO calendar for work so I'll mark off all the days that I'm on PTO I did use this last year as well and it worked very well for me and uh, I, I always try and track my PTOs but I like having to, to look at it at a year in a glance I d found that I don't take off as much as I thought I did but I need to start taking off more and trying to take care of myself a bit more than um, uh, than I do um, I'm fortunate that I I am blessed every year with a good clean bill of health, but I need to make sure that I am um, giving back uh, and and honoring the temple that that God has gave me uh, because He is who's helping me to be healthy. So I need to respect that and honor that and and give back and make sure that I am doing my part in keeping myself healthy and you know it's the same and all of that uh, this is my on-site calendar so I did this last year I tracked the days that I went on site because I wanted to see how many days I was going on site and I really liked that that was very nice to come back and look at and see oh I was last on site on this day blah 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 now I track it on in my weeks I mark it off that I was on site but um I don't um I want to see it at a again a yearly view so I think that was a uh, good really good last year and then so I guess I did accomplish some tracking this is my calendar index and then what I do is put um, big uh, or things that I need to reference back to change my toothbrushes I um, got all changed I purchased my registration for the car I uh, got new tires um, HVAC maintenance, um, uh, roof leak fixed, um, things like that goes here. And so then I can reference, go back and reference. And what I have, I've been doing this for the last one, two, I think I've done it for the last three years, but last year I had it separated from my event calendar. Uh, so I have it separated this year as well. And what I'm going to do is when I archive them, here's um, this one that I just took out. So this is um, last year's. This is 2022's. So this is my reference. So what I'll do is take that index and I'll put it on the very front. So if I have to come back and look and see, when did you get your roof done? It was in April, but when was it, when was it in April? I can go look pull out that reference index and see oh this is this is when this was done let me bring it up just a little bit so y'all can see what I'm saying so I'll put um I I haven't put them in the binder yet I'm not going to put it in the binder until a week or two later because a lot of times I go back and add something that I realized I forgot so this is my calendar index for 2022 so what I'll do is put this index on top and I put them in binders. So if I, and I have them separated out or tabbed out by year. And if I say, um, uh, we got our hot water heater installed in 2022 and we have to show that to the insurance company or something. I can go and see when we got it installed and I'll know, okay, it was in August. I can pull my um, my payment, um, uh, bank statement where we paid them. I can go and look at my bills that are, uh, are you know, that I put them in the year, but I also put them in the month. I can go and look and see if I have a receipt there, stuff like that. So that's how this becomes helpful. 
uh, when did you last change your oil? Now, what I usually do is here, like say if I got my oil changed at the end of the year, I would go and I would put it on my next calendar year. I would just make a note of it. Same thing with my periods. So I wouldn't have to go back with my periods. When I was having periods, I would go and say, okay, my last period was uh, November of 2022. Uh, my last all change was in uh, October or December of 2022. I would go ahead and just make a note either on my calendar index, but most likely it would be here on this calendar. And I would make a note as far as when was the last time so that I don't have to go back and reference that because it's when I put it up I usually don't go back to it unless you know something has come up and I really have to go back to it so I, that's how I, I would do that so that's what the calendar index is for now the calendar event calendar or things that happened throughout the year that we attended that were uh, celebrations like graduations uh, deaths would go on here, unfortunately, as well, but um, uh, family reunions, birthday parties, um, if we had um, some type of vacation that we went on, all of that stuff would go on this one here. And then it would, I could look back and see, oh, we were pretty busy this year. Oh, we went to three or four, we went on three or four trips this year. You know, stuff like that. So that goes here. And I started putting washing on them. I haven't finished yet. This I left in because it was undated. I don't know if I'll use it, but I did leave it in. And then there are some other ones that I am looking at that I took out of, of, um, uh, let, uh, that I took out from last year that I will be putting back in here uh, for tracking purposes of certain things. And then this is from a weekly monthly of not this brand, but they very similar. They look just alike, but I took it so that I could have this, which now I didn't need to. But since I'm not going to use the weeklies, because the weeklies are the timed verticals. And I thought about using them for calendar blocking. But then that's going to make my planner just even bigger. So I'm not going to use those in here anyway at the moment. Maybe another time I can go in and I can use them to, for, you know, uh, more structured. Like when I start studying for another certification and stuff like that, maybe I can pop uh, them in then. Now these, let me go here first. At the end of the month, you get a review and then you get your next month's to do. So, and so what I realized, because I am a month followed by weeks type of planner instead of all of my months being together now in my per in the personal what I use for the daily to-do list I do have all of my months together um, in my dailies I just have them I just do them any kind of way but uh, for my true planning I like my weeks to be followed by my months. Now, if I had dailies in here, it would be my month, then my weeks, then my dailies, then my next month. That's how I plan. So I realized, wait, I can still do that. Because instead of looking at your month review and then your to-dos, I can just put my weeks in between so that's what i done now here's the big change i went to a smaller week on one page and not only did i do a smaller week on one page um this is substantially smaller and what i said i would do is just add events and 
day-driven chores or tasks. So things that I have to do on a certain day or that I must do on a certain day would go here. And then I would use my personal to put everything else on it. Um, I have enjoyed my personal. I really have. And I feel like that's what helped me accomplish more of my planning. My personal is where I keep my to-do list, my daily to-do list. But I feel like that's what helped me keep more on top of my planning uh, was incorporating that personal in. But I don't put a lot of um, personal memory uh, things I want to remember, things I want to capture. I don't put a lot of that on my personals because the personals, you know, the personal size is smaller. And I don't write necessarily big, but I don't write small by no means at all. So I don't think that this is going to work. I think I actually need the weekly that I had. Um, I thought about eventually well, what I had originally thought about was going to a uh, week on one page which would, which would be essentially just this Monday through Sunday and just using this and not have that second page I have planned with a two week on two page for years and I don't know let me see if I can find a kind of clean one I don't know if I can do a week on one page, but I said I would give it a try. Here's one that's kind of clean. So here I have my week. This is where I put usually uh, time defense, bills, stuff like that. And then over here, you have kind of like your brain dump section of things you want to get done this week, things you want to buy this week, things you want to blah, blah, blah. I separated it out with this little piece because I said maybe I can, sometimes this would be so jumbled and sometimes my brain don't, don't, it, it usually is fine, but sometimes it doesn't work. So I had this piece. So if I wanted to do, you know, make all my bills over here this day or put uh, my vitamin tracking or something like that, um, my day specific chores or task on this section here and leave that blank here so that I can have more space for something else here. So that's what I was doing and that actually worked out pretty well. But um uh, I wanted to see if I can go to um uh, one week which is what I said just this side of the page. But um I ended up, because these are so snazzy, I love them. They're from Peanuts Planner Co. And I have used them before um, for like vacation planning. Like if we're on a vacation, some of the things that we, uh, like if we go on uh, Thursday through uh, Sunday here, what are we doing each one of those days while we're on vacation? And then the days leading up, what are some of the big things that we need to get accomplished before we leave? So that's what I was using these this for. So and then here, just tracking. Uh, it's a big enough space, so I got rid of one of my trackers that I was using because honestly, I failed at it every single every single month. Um, here's one that's kind of clean. So. You see, I had all of this space for note taking and writing down memories and whatever. And then um, you had this little section if you wanted to section it out for something. And then you had this whole side here. And I I think I'm going to go back to it. I, I don't think that other way is going to work. I, I sat and I looked at it this morning and it uh, it honestly did give me a tiny bit of anxiety. Now, because I'm using, instead of me printing my own, own print on uh, own calendars this month, I'm going to have to um, figure something out as far as that. Because 
this will now I will be able to keep this because I did not want to get rid of this but I use use this as my priorities for the month um uh, uh date night friends and family birthdays any purchases that I need to make for the month um um, events that I'm attending and then currently I am watching, reading, listening, doing whatever that enjoying. Yeah, that goes here. So that means I will now going back to the ones that I, I was, was using last year will be able to incorporate this in and again have my week month and then um, yeah move like that so anyway I, I think that's what I'm going to do I think I'm, I'm going to uh, finish setting up today and then uh, I'll know if that's what I'm going to do and sometimes like I, I keep um, those nuances those changes in here i try them out for just say the first month in in the year and then i know okay this doesn't work let me go ahead and switch back to the way i was I, but i do like to have the other ones printed out already i haven't printed them i don't have to print them so that i can do that but anyway i think that this this layout is beautiful and but i just don't think it's going to work for how I plan um but I love this layout maybe I can incorporate the tracker into uh, the layout that I currently use I don't think so though maybe we'll see but I, I love this layout it's perfect um just not big enough but but I like it a lot so we'll see. I'm going to try it for uh, two or three weeks. So, and one other thing, it, it doesn't have a place for my washi. I like my washi. And then I thought about using this as the place for memory keeping, which I could do that. Maybe I can take this up some and like delete these out and have a bigger spot for memory keeping. And that'll help. And I could also reduce my um this down oh that's one thing that i was saying like on this one i was tracking this at the beginning of the month now i have tracked weekly before where i'm looking at my weekly every day and that did work better because right now here is my tracking oh uh, i need to hurry up y'all and I didn't do well every month. This is my tracking, and then this is my zones over here. And I, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I like it. It's a good concept. It just didn't work for me. Um, and I've tried that for the last two or three years. And um, i done better this year than I've done all of my other years. But still, I think if I would have had it on a weekly view, I may have been able to track it better. So I'm going to go kind of rush through this now because I see that um, I'm at 38 minutes. I cannot believe that. Wow. Um, I've already put in my birthdays. I put in my son starts nursing school here. My husband takes his NCLEX there. Fingers crossed. Blessings up, y'all, that he passes. Um... I am a nurse and then my second son, he is he has two or three more classes that he needs to take. He wants to go to nursing school as well. I think all of us will be focusing on something different, but I think it's it's wonderful. Um so yeah, all of my birthdays have been put in. If I know of any events, I will put them in as well. Um and then my secondary planning systems, my personal, all of that. I'll get on and show those, but those are not set up. They usually get set up just any time throughout the year when I feel um, 
that I need to start looking more into a different way of planning. Um, but yeah, so y'all can see that I have done, I think I've done all the birthdays, all the months. And I really like this um, July review. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was just making sure that did work. For some reason, I was thinking, wait, that doesn't work sticking the week in between, but it does. Okay. Then, this is my last week of the year. I kept it in here so that I can go in and put uh, other things as I think of them. I started uh, putting some things down that I need to put into the planner. Uh, so for this one, I got it. I found a, I didn't have to print it. I had an extra sheet. I did not have to do that because it was one already in there. So I just carried on. Um, I did that. I haven't done that. That is what I'm supposed to be doing today. Um, from PP Co. I haven't done that, but I may. Uh, okay, and then I need to purchase some TV trays, and I had a headache yesterday, I mean, on the 29th, I had one on yesterday, and I also had one today, so right here i put the highlights of things that have happened through the month see i still have to do this so that's why i haven't put this up yet and then this is this week again i was going to keep them back here but then i discovered that i can actually oh shoot i'm on the wrong thing Ugh, i messed up already y'all so i need to move this one up there and transfer the stuff that i do have dang it on here um crap so yeah but these will be moved in between the weeks now these are just some planner notes that i had i bought them out so i can read over them see if it's anything that i want to incorporate and it's two or three pages one of them is just a template of how to uh actually do i think it's stylogy because i see 31 rows here no a tracker it's for a tracker that's what it is <clears throat> Then, um, <clears throat> this is uh, just a two uh, pocket labels, holders, stickings. They like the Target things, but they're big. And I stuck them back to back. And when I stuck them back to back, I then had an opening here and an opening on this side. So I can stick stickers there or whatever else I want to stick there, receipts or whatever. I do have some dailies in here. Um, because sometimes I do use a bigger daily, um, uh, especially when I'm planning out something. So I do have some of those in here. This is my tracker section. Those are for labs that will be being done on a regular basis. So this is my eat out, um, tracking when I eat out versus when I cook. The C will be a cook and then eat out will just be shaded in. Um, sodas, if I did well, my, I will track uh, with a check mark or um, a X if I had soda that day. I want to limit my sodas and I want to stay focused on that. Um, this is for hot flashes and uh, personal stuff. Uh, this worked out really well last year. I started tracking blood pressures like in June or May. And I was able to go take this to my doctor because I went to the doctor in um, uh, December of this year. And I was able to look at my blood pressures and stuff um, because um, every now and then... I see my blood pressure to be like 140 something. Usually it's in 130s, 120s. But every now and then, I don't know what causes that. But yeah. So I, I track my blood pressure. So that, that worked really well. I will do that. And then I will track my weight here. I want to really focus on my weight this year, y'all. Because, yeah. It's ridiculous. 
sleep tracker. So I will mark the time that I went to sleep um, and the time I woke up. Now, I was doing this on uh, drawing out paper um, with the graph lines. So this time I made one. Now, one thing that I saw is Monique Smith, she puts a little dot on like if she would interrupt it. Like I wake up all the time at 3. I'd wake up at 4 something to use the restroom. But sometimes when... I don't know if I'm stressed out or whatever. I will wake up through the night and it takes me a long time to go back to sleep. So I want to put um, that information here. And I saw Monique is doing that and she's putting a little dot there. So I thought that was neat. Uh, I might put a dot, but I might highlight from when I woke up and how long it took me that I know of to get back to sleep. Uh, so that I'll know if I had any sleep disturbances. Um... And I think that'll be helpful with me, too, because I do track when I'm stressed out at work and stuff like that. Or like when it's something bothering me, then I have I think back when I'm sleeping bad. I say, well, is it something bothering me? So that can kind of help um, um, identify what the issue might be. Um so I ended up making them this year instead of um, tracking them on this little paper. And I did it because I wanted to highlight. Yeah, I'm probably not going to highlight. I'm probably just going to draw a line just like Monique do. Uh, so that I don't, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's too much. Um, but I started at 6 p.m. So if I go to bed early, like some, if I'm sick or something, and then what time I woke up, this is to 12 noon. Hopefully, I won't be sleeping past 12 noon. I never do, but who knows? And then, that's one, that's these. I have enough for 12 months in here. Then I have the hours of sleep. So, I'll take this and I'll mark out, okay, that was 8 hours of sleep. And I'll mark 8, 9, 10 or whatever. So, I can see it here how many hours of sleep I'm actually getting versus looking at here. Like, I'll have a good reference but this will be the whole year. And then also it'll tell me the number. So I, if I see a whole bunch of eights or a whole bunch of sevens, then I'll know. If I see a, a, a four hours or three hours, then what happened on those days? Why did I sleep just that little? You know? So that's what that is. Stretching. I want to get back into stretching. I can feel, y'all, in this last year how stiff I've gotten and I've always been pretty limber weight and all I've always been pretty limber so I want to start stretching uh, that's my walking tracker uh, activity and I put them in the order kind of in which are what I want stretch every single morning walk two or three times a week activity so if I did not walk did I do any other type of activity that could be uh, a moderate exercise? Okay. I combined these this year. I used to have left pain, left knee, right knee. I have two different knee problems. So I used to have two different ones. So, and then I would either circle or highlight if I took no and then I had pain leg knee back pain meds here and I would um, highlight if I did have that pain but now I reduced this down because I had two of these sheets last year I reduced it down and just have knee pain and what I'll do is put right or left here or B for both and then I will highlight the little area or circle it if there was any pain and the same thing here, back or leg pain. I have leg pains that um, I think come from my back, but I'm not for sure. So I will put a B or an L or BL if I had both. And then I will circle if I took any pain med for that. And then here I had uh, heartburn and heart flutters. Flutters I rarely ever get anymore since I, um, since I don't since I went through menopause every now and then I get them uh, last year I think I had three episodes of it um heartburn I actually done very good the, the last year 
of it. But what I'll do is put B or F. And then if I took any medication for my heartburn, I will uh, just circle it. Let me, I, I hope I don't, this doesn't, this video doesn't stop because I feel like it's a lot of good little information here. But let me show y'all that tracker. Okay. So see, leg pain, back pain, leg pain, back pain, meds. Well, I eliminated that. I'll just highlight. Um, this was heart flutters for last year. And you can see at the beginning of the year, I had much more than the end of the year and then this was heartburn and see I haven't had any heartburn in the last four months or so but um I discovered one thing was how I was drinking the coffee and so I actually um stopped <laughs> that and that has helped me a lot as far as that heartburn so yeah so that and then on this side oh I just realized this printed wrong oh I don't like that um, it's supposed to be up here. Um, this is bowels. So I have irritable bowel syndrome. So I want to put when I'm constipated, when I have diarrhea or just a normal bowel movement and then headaches. I don't have to track this as much as I used to because I don't have migraines anymore, but I kept it on here because I still think it's a good thing to track. And then wash day, which is the days that I wash my hair. Here is my Amazon spending. And, um, I had this in my planner last year, but I never did utilize this, but I want to actually mark out my Amazon spending so that I will know, look at it just and say, okay, you're spending too much. Cause I can see how many days I did that at the end of last year in the week be between Christmas and, and, uh, New Year's, I uh, yes, between Christmas and New Year's, I actually went back in, looked at every single purchase that I made from Amazon, but um, and I tracked it on um, this, and I will use one of these as well, and then transfer it into here because I have this one on me. It's easy, more portable, but um, this is it here. This is my personal. These are all Amazon. Every So this is January uh, 1st through 31st, February and on. So I want to see this reduce. And I have the 2023 set up for Amazon already so that I can start doing that. So and then I'll transfer that information over here. So that I can have it in my system that I actually store away. And then this one will likely be for any type of other bad habit areas that I have as far as purchasing. And then this is an extra one. This is an extra one. If I think of anything else that I want to track, this is one. Um... And then these are one. So these are all extra trackers here. Um, and then this is my, I do need to redo this one because I need to, it's something I need to add when I get over here. Hopefully I'll remember. But this is my weekly and daily routine here. Weekly routine, daily routine, planning routine, weekly review, weekly routines. And this is all the stuff that I want to do to each one of these areas to help me manage my home, manage my life, manage my plans better. Um, and then here as well, I have business task, business routine, my zones, uh, quarterly. Um, this is more of a reference, admin tasks. So getting those receipts, scanning them all in, separating them out into different folders, stuff like that. Monthly review, monthly reflection, monthly routine, quarterly review and task, and then yearly review and task. Um, yeah, it's something I just thought about right here that I need to do. Um, but looking at this helps like just then. I, it's something I need to do right here that made me think about this, uh, which was add salt, uh, salt or check the salt levels. Um, 
and the, I, we need to set up for our maintenance for our uh, water. I don't know what it's called, water irrigation system or whatever it is. So yeah, so that's what this is. This is a chore list idea. So if I'm ever stumped on what can I do, I don't have anything to do or the things that need to be done. I don't want to do them, but let me do something. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I can do here and I've carried it over here. And then I just started writing in things as um, I think of them. Pantry tidy. I spent 2020 reorganizing my pantry when we first went out on COVID. And I tidy my pantry quite a bit to try and keep it tidy now that it's organized. Cleaning list, uh, trigger list for planning and trigger list for goal setting. Uh, this is an incompletion trigger list. I need to print one of these again because I'm going to try to make the words bigger here. Uh, this is one as well. And then here... I want to do some saving challenges. You put the what it is that you're saving here, and then you mark off until you reach uh, those goals. So you put the amount here, what it is you're saving for, and then you just add to it until you reach that goal. Um, no spending tracker. Uh, this is my fixed spending, the one that I told you all I had to do. And see, these are unanticipated spending. Hopefully, I won't have too much this year. You know what? Last year, I had quite a bit. Oh, yeah, I put it on there. Okay. And then um, uh, my water, lights, gas. I want to track this. I don't always keep up with it, but I want to track it because I want to see when did our electricity start fluctuating i want to be able to go back and look at them and say okay these are our heavy months here now i can say when we got our hvac replaced i saw a difference in our bill like that very next month i saw a difference in the bill um so that kind of stuff i want to track that this is uh credit cards i need to track those um debit atm now this i don't always keep up with but i want to try and keep up with it um daily debit atm log uh yep same thing so i don't know why i have some over here and some over here but yeah and then online orders i don't keep up with this but i want to keep up with it as well i do have a waiting on now so that actually helps a little bit with this um that's online orders as well. I do most of my shopping online because I hate shopping, going out. Um, anything that I want to buy, to buy again. And these are things, see this 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 was here last year. It'll stay and I'll just add to it. Uh, it also, when I go to it, okay, soundproof curtains. Do I really want those? And then I'll scratch it off. This, I decided this uh, Parm and the Pearl um, VDS. I decided I wasn't going to get those. Um, same here. But these were the rings. Now I'm thinking about, okay, do I want that TN though? Because I realized, oh, I can do it in a TN. So, yeah. Uh, Christmas list. I think I have a wish list in here somewhere. You know, stuff like that. Stickers again. Uh, these were when I was writing out my goals. Uh this is some stickers that I want to do uh, or have done. Custom stickers that I want to have done. Um, planner sizes. Stuff like that. So, I think that's about it. These are This is our notes area where we're at now. Um, here, stickers again. And this is my list section. Here's that master to-do list that I was telling you all about. Social media, coupon codes, sticker shops, where to find. So this, I have this in all of my planners. And I'll write down where I put something at. And then I have a where to find book. Which is here. And I'll go in and I will add it here if it's something that's very important. And I'll highlight it or whatever. And then I will write down where you can find it at. 
And so this has been working well. Um, now there are some things that I, before I started that system, I know I have it. I just got to remember where to find it. Usually I can, but um, yeah, not all the time. So once I start my decluttering and stuff, I'll find those things, put those things on that list, and then I'll have it more organized. Call log, which I never use. Things that I want to get organized will go here. So those kind of like projects. Here's a list of planner ideas and planner to buys. This is planner stuff. Uh, this is a graph of planner stuff. This is planner stuff. I, I kept a lot of planner stuff in here, y'all, because I do that a lot. Uh, things I want to buy or have bought, I put a check once I have them. Um, and then I'll go back through and say, do I want this anymore? Do I need this? And I'll scratch it out. Uh, and that's here as well. Uh, wishes. So this is just a wish list of some things that I want. Um, projects. Anything that I want to do as far as projects. I know I did, I did that. And then like, uh, I do want a bookshelf, um, for all of my journals because I have so many journals they kind of all over the place I want a bookshelf where I can put everything on that bookshelf um, uh, I did that craft closet I want a closet my husband won't do it for me because he don't want me to have the guest room which is currently where I, where I do my, all of my work at now since I'm at home uh, I want a huge charcuterie board like a huge like table size like big like a runner uh, table runner size like that um, so that I can do a large charcuterie board when we're uh, having get togethers and stuff like that so projects I just got to find you know teak wood or bamboo something that you can use that um, it's food friendly um, projects play things to do and try Places to go, uh, places to eat, favorite eats, places to eat, favorite eats. So where I like to eat at, what what and what that um, meal may be there that I really like. Uh, gift list. This is for everybody. Then I have a gift gift list for my husband. Uh, this one I got now. That I got. Uh, that one I won't get. Uh, gift list for my first son, gift list for my second son, uh, ideas worth exploring, books to read, um, movies that I want to watch, and then what were they, and then if it was a five or a four, I'm likely going to buy it, have I bought it, and when I buy it, I just check it off. Same here. And then I also have another movie section where I, uh, it's not in here, it's in my reference one. I have another binder this size, but with two inch rings. And I actually capture that information into what, what movies I do have. And then if I loan them out, who has them, um, and, uh, that's in my reference one. And I'm, I'm keeping a lot of the reference stuff in there. And then projects is just what have I done. I do need to work on this. It's a household binder. And I'm I'm determined to get a household binder set up the way I want it set up. Organized guest room and workspace slash office. That's this area where I'm at now. I want to do that. It's so much stuff in here because I have lots of planner stuff. But... Uh, I actually use paper a lot at work. So it's a lot of paper in here too. Uh, if a fire started in here, it would burn the whole house down because it's a lot of paper in here. I want to get rid of some of that stuff, um, especially what I'm not using anymore, but I can't just throw it away. I need to take it back to the office because it's proprietary and I don't want, um, you know, to just throw it into the other basket somewhere i guess i could burn it but um yeah uh i want to plan for a spring tea hopefully we'll have that this year coming we did not get a chance to have it this year uh i'm thinking about another name for my hairline um 
and that's it for right now here's one of the project sheets that that remember the weekly what i was telling you about and then here is one also that i got from amazon and i like this one too i used this one and i used this one when i was planning out a party in this year in may there was a party that um was done and so yeah it was it was good and then here's the event calendar and again these things can be used for this so this is a project which uh, event is a project and then this is the event and it has a lot of the same things on there uh, but it has the customer information uh, what they're wanting the guest count uh, what the menu would be and then a blueprint of some of the things and then I can use these to supplement for that so that is there um, we have some blank sheets so if I need to use sheets instead this is a tumble brush marker so these are ones that I have and I can look at these and say okay I want to use this one I like that so that's what that is um, this is a medical record and it just says if we went to the doctor, what was our uh, uh, height, any chronic illnesses or disease, what medications we're on, was there any medication started, our vital signs and weight, abnormal values, current problem list. So why, why did we go to the doctor and, you know, what was discussed there. And I have one for myself, my youngest son, my oldest son and then me so yeah tracking those and then again see this is a really thick area of stickers and it's all of my birthday stickers and then which i guess you know maybe i can take some of these out if i do it at the beginning of every single year instead of uh monthly hmm now i may not need these oh okay y'all okay and then these are just uh, labels that i can use to write on uh stickers are here stickers stickers uh stickers um a little ruler some uh washi cutter some uh flags um labels and then uh, sticky notes back here and then here is a little pencil board that i created and um, I have it Ollie clipped there and I have my uh, friction on there. I use my friction to put into my planner things that are supposed to be happening, but it's not confirmed yet. And I'll write it in here. Um, sometimes if I know that like it was a party that we were invited to yesterday, birthday party, we might go. So I'll put it in what you call it. And then I'll just take it out if we don't. Or if I do put it in permanent pen, I'll just put a little X next to it so that I know that we did not go. Um, I keep a highlighter in here, gel pen, and a regular pen, roller ball or ballpoint. I don't know which one it is. And some um, stickers and um these which are punched and i can put them in between or uh, with the weeks if i need to add more things to uh, the week than i have so maybe that's an option instead of me going back to the two page hmm. okay some stickers are in here and that is it y'all i hope you all enjoyed this video uh, please let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to be working the rest of the day to get everything cleaned out. Um, and I'll be ready to go for this year. Um, I think I told y'all in the last one, this was my pre-planning. So this is what I do when I'm pre-planning out the week slash days or whatever. I'll put that information in here and then um, uh, transfer it on to the week. Okay, that's it, y'all. Have a good one. Bye-bye.